this video, what I'm going to do is go over a digital torque gauge. And this is the one that mounts to the end of a, um, like a ratchet. And this is from the company Goyote Gidget, digital maybe. Check out this little cool case. It came in a nice little hard shell case. And then open it up. Look how nice and presented it is, everybody. So number one, it looks like it's on a half inch right there. And then it's got a couple of adapters to it. So this was the adapter right there. And then you get another adapter that goes even smaller. So it has a couple adapters to it. But you know what? What I'm going to do is just use this adapter there. And it looks like you're going to need to put the batteries in it. So it takes two AA, triple A batteries. Opening them up here. Of course, I don't have a knife on Okay, me. so I got the batteries in. Let me go ahead and set it. So I'm gonna, I've got a little bike over here and this thing comes right out of the package to accept a half inch drive. So I have a half inch like dry, um, ratchet here and there's some adapters to go even smaller down to a quarter and three eighths or whatever. And then here's the, you know, a three quarter inch, half inch socket right here. I'm gonna put the socket on. I'm gonna set this for 30. So let's set this over 30 Newton meters and then let's test it out. So you can see right here, I'm going to set it right at 30 and it can go very like, so there we are. We are set right at 30. Now let's take it over here to the bike. Go ahead and take the little cover off right here. So this is kind of loose. We need to set it right at 30 Newton meters. So let's turn it and see what happens. There's a little bit of a turn. We're at 11, 14. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Let's try to get the camera down right there. Oh, when it hit, so it's 5, 25 and it's already starting to go. 27, 29.6. It let me know I went over just slightly. So it, so when it, it, it seems to go straight on a, like a sound when it's, when it's right on 30. See, I'm a little bit over, so that lets me know I'm over. So it'll get it within one Newton meter, which is pretty good if you think about it. This is, um, there it was, see that? So everybody, you can get it right within one Newton meter. So I got that at 33. I'm supposed to be 30, so 33. But you could be even more fine-tuned if you want. I could go back in the opposite direction here and kind of like pull it off a little bit and then try to do it again until I hit it right where I want it. But honestly, you know, if you get it within one Newton meter, I think you're pretty good. Look at that, how it goes right up. There it was. <laughs> so I got 30.5, if you guys can see that. So this thing works great. Um, I, I highly recommend this thing. I'm going to be using this on pretty much every little thing. I like it because it turns any ratchet you have into a torque wrench instead of having to like buy a torque wrench. And I think this works just fine for what I'm going to be doing at home DIY projects and the way I can go, you know, I can reset it. I can go track. What does track do? There you go, so track goes like that. I like how I can go Newton meters, pounds of force, square inch pounds. So it has a lot of different settings on there. So yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got on the, you know, the GoYojo torque gauge for any ratchet. See y'all in the next video.